hello guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i created this beautiful look using some diamonds so if you want to see how i created this look then please keep on watching thank you okay so for today's video i'm gonna be using this palette this is the mini version of this palette it's uh from morphe it's the jim charles palette and okay so first of all i'm gonna be packing just the concealer on my eyelids so first i'm gonna be going in with any flat brush i'm gonna be using this one from wet n wild I'm going to be cleaning the brush before I use it because I use it for this eye. And then I'm going to grab this pink shade right here. It's like a baby pink. And I'm going to apply that all over my lid. Just to set my concealer, basically. Okay, so now I'm going to be using this smaller brush from Morphe. Yeah, this one is from Morphe. And then I'm going to be grabbing this purple shade right here this one right here and i'm gonna be following my crease line and i'm gonna bring the shadow to the outside y voy a estar trayendo la la shadow para afuera para que se haga como la línea como la línea after i created the line with the shadow i'm gonna be going in with my morphe e17 and i'm gonna try to blend the shadow lo más que pueda okay con esta brush i'm gonna be blending my shadow I'm gonna try to blend the shadow. And then now with the same brush que aplique the uh, pink shade, I'm gonna blend acá arribita para que no se mire too harsh the shadows. Okay, so now that it's already blended out, I'm gonna be using my Fit Me Concealer. This one is on the shade 05. And I'm gonna be cutting my crease. What basically I'm gonna be doing the same thing that I did with the with the shadow. I'm gonna be following my crease, pero un poquito voy a estar aplicando the uh, concealer un, un poquito más abajo de donde apliqué la la shadow. Voy a estar utilizando this flat brush from Morphe. Um, puedes hacerlo como tú quieras Puedes either poner the concealer in the brush Or applying the concealer in your eye And then just cutting your crease But this is how I like doing it I like grabbing grab, I like grabbing the concealer on my brush And then following my crease Y luego ya me gusta like desparramar el concealer más para abajo Y de ese mismo que puse en mi ojo voy a estar otra vez usándolo para limpiar mi, mi eyeshadow. Ok, so before I messed up my concealer, I'm gonna be grabbing another flat brush. I'm gonna be using the same one that I was using to cut my crease. I'm just gonna clean it and then I'm trying not to open my eye. But I'm gonna be grabbing this shade right here. It's like a blue shimmery shade and I'm gonna be applying that shade all over the um, concealer. Y voy a estar limpiando again donde puse de más con mi wiping so 
so, como me pasé un poquito acá con mi shadow, voy a estar utilizando otra brochita. This one. I'm going to be using this one. And, me llame, se me durmieron hasta los pies. Oh. Voy a estar limpiándola. And then, I'm going to be applying some of the purple shade. I like this eye better. I don't like this eye, but whatever. I mean, okay, so se me acaba de ocurrir una cosa. I'm gonna be adding some little diamonds to my look. Um, estos los compré en el Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree y este también lo compré en el Dollar Tree. Esto es to be, uh, to grab easier the little diamonds. I'm gonna be uh, using my Ionic eyelash glue but I don't like it for my eyelashes so I'm gonna be using it for my glitters putting like a little dot right there and boy, I'm gonna be grabbing my little diamond with my little tool like that And I'm just gonna add the rest of them over here on the bottom. I'll probably add like four. Okay, so as y'all can tell, I was applying unos triangulos silver. And I was struggling so much to apply them in this side because no se dejaban agarrar. Like literally, I was fighting with them. So I found these other diamonds that I have. Son um, squares. And son del mismo color de estas, like a blue shimmery color or whatever shade. So me los cambié and it's way easier to apply these ones. Like los otros no los podía agarrar, like literally. And I'm like poniendo, like estas también, I'm, I'm, I'm over here fighting with them literally, like poniéndole like salivita and shit. So if they don't come out perfect, please do not come for me because I'm over here literally fighting with them. And it's a little bit um, tricky to apply them because, oh my God, for some reason I cannot grab them today. They are literally trickles as fuck, but I'm gonna leave them because I struggle so much to put them. Literally. Estas madres, they were not helping at all. Okay, so for today's video, I'm gonna be using these eyelashes from the Dollar Tree. They are the same brand from the um, as the glue that I was using. So let me apply them and then I'm gonna show you guys how se mira. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my 104 uh, L'Oreal Infinable Foundation. This is the like the Pro Matte Foundation, and um, this one I apply the foundation whenever like I'm just doing my makeup for the videos, or if I'm gonna go like run some errands like real fast because it will crease my smile lines but uh, my frankie rose foundation that one is bomb as fuck it's a little expensive por eso uso <laughs> this one for my videos well sometimes i use the frankie rose foundation también but mainly whenever i go out because it's a little bit expensive And that one, it won't crease my smile lines. This one is good too, but I don't know. It will crease my smile lines. Like, nada más aquí, like, it creases there. Oh, um, so this is how the eyelashes look. I forgot to show you guys. Super cute. And then to blend in the foundation on my forehead, I like using this um, brush. 
This one is from Bella Cosmetics. Well, not only this one, pero like las que son así más chiquitas. So I can go in between my eyebrows. And then I go in por acá y por allá. And I have more control of the foundation that, you know, like where I'm applying the foundation, basically. So I'm gonna be going in with my Frankie Rose Concealer. This is the Natural C103. I'm gonna blend in my concealer con la misma que I was blending in the, um, the foundation on my forehead. For my contour stick, I'm gonna be using this one from the Dollar Tree. I love this one. Um, it has a lot of product. It's uh, just literally a dollar. Y te dura un friego. So go to the Dollar Tree. It's already broken. And I already have another one. So, yes guys, for a dollar, literally, un dollar. I'm gonna be using my Morphe Y12 to blend in the contour on my nose. They have, uh, they don't have many shades for the options, but um, los que tienen, I feel like you can find your shade, you know, basically. Okay, so I'm gonna be setting uh, my face with this banana powder. I got it on one of my Ipsy's uh, bags a long time ago, and honestly, no tiene nombre or like doesn't say de donde es. So that's why last time that I used it, I didn't link it. But Beauty Creations has one que se llama uh, the banana banana setting powder and it works wonderful so and it's only I believe six or eight dollars so it's affordable and it comes with a lot uh, also the the one from Too Faced that one también te dura it's a little bit pricey pero it's good y te dura te lula te dura to bronze my face, I'm gonna be using this palette from Beauty Creations. Viene con contours y viene con highlights. So you get yourself contours and highlight. Uno por uno, uno por dos, o dos por, dos por uno. I'm done. So I'm gonna be using this brush from Murphy to contour my face. My under eye shadow, I'm gonna be using the same palette. I'm gonna be using this Morphe brush. Ya no tiene nombre because I've been using it so much que ya se le borró el nombre. And uh, I'm gonna be going in. I'm not sure if I should do like a blue under shadow, purple, or. So I'm gonna be going in with this hot pink shade right here for my under eye shadow. And I'm gonna be tapping the excess away because these shadows are really pigmented. Okay, so I added some powder, some setting powder uh, under my eyes. For si se cae any fallout, I can just wipe it away. Okay, so I'm gonna be grabbing this flat brush from Morphe and I'm cutting it. I'm grabbing this purple shadow y la voy a poner encima de la otra pink shadow. Okay, so I already went ahead and apply mascara on my under eyelashes. I'ma be using this highlight from Benefit. 
I'm gonna apply it on my cheeks, on my lips, on my nose, and on my inner corner. I'm gonna be using my Morphe Y22 to apply the highlight in my inner corner. You can really see it, see it on camera, but it's there. Okay, so first I'm applying my Morphe setting spray para que la highlight se mire more pigmented. La highlight, para que agarre bien. I know que si se mira esta, look. Ooh. Okay, yeah. so for my lippy, I'm going to be using the one from uh, Let's Do Makeup con Light Glam. And then for my lippy, I'm going to be using this one from Light Glam. The name is Pepperaxi Mate. So this is the final look guys. I really like this eye look. I like the eyelashes. I love the Dollar Tree eyelashes. And I like como se miran los little diamonds. So yes guys, I it was a little tricky making this uh, look, but I kind of like it. The lipstick, I don't know. I'm not a really fan of pink, but se mira más o menos. So yes guys. So I guess this is it for this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video or if you enjoy watching this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to follow me on my social medias. They are always linked down below. And all the products that I use on my videos are going, going to be linked down below as well. So yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I see you guys in my next video. Bye.